Good afternoon, friends. I am just wanting to show everyone how to add a contact form to your website using Gravity Forms. Um, I've seen a lot of questions out on the boards about how do I add a form or how do I add a survey. Um, our go-to here is Gravity Forms because it is so easy for beginners. Um, after you have logged into your website and installed Gravity Forms, you'll want to go to the Gravity Form Builder. So if you just go view your page and scroll up here to Forms, and you'll slide down here and say New Form. So we'll <clears throat> just walk through the steps here. So. Um, so we'll say this is my Asking Anything Gravity Form. You can put a description in there if, if you'd like. Um, we're not going to do that today. Um, <clears throat> then when you get to this page, this is really just a drag and drop interview er, interface. Sorry. Um, what you'll need to do is pick out the different controls that you'd like to see on the form. So you can see you have like single line text, um, you can put a page on the form, check boxes, so many different things. Um, and then we have these advanced fields, which are like the address, we'll use that one, mm -hmm. um, because they have a lot of the functionality you need built in. So um, we are going to just pull this name um, form over and address. And we also want to get the person's email. Now, one little trick, <clears throat> you see this little blue bar that's kind of popping up over here? Let's say you want to put two different entry fields on this line. What you can do is take another field and just slide it right there. So you have two entry forms. You can even do three if you want. Um, but for now, this is all we're going to do. We're going to do the name and then we want to give them um, a field where they can, you know, write a message for us. And <clears throat> last but not least, you might want to um, add a consent field or consent um, control. That helps if you have a privacy policy or some other sort of um, policy that you want people submitting the form to agree to or be aware of. So um, when this field is pretty much ready to go, let's look at this field though. Let's um, decide we don't want this address line. So if we click on this, this will give us a chance to look at all the different options we have for the form. And we're going to just toggle that address line 2 off, <clears throat> and you can see that it is gone. Um, I'll let you explore all the different options here. If somebody would like a video with a more detailed description of them, please let me know. I'm happy to do that, but I'm trying to be quick on this one. So this one we want do want to change the um, title here. So <clears throat> we'll go up to general and we'll change this to how can we talk. So that is it. That's all we need to do to build the form. Now there is one more step. We need to know where we're going to email this form to. So we're going to go up here. I'm going to save it first. Always save. And then we will go up here and go to form settings. So this is where we tell um, WordPress some of the behind the scenes things like where notifications, who is going to get an email, and confirmations, what will the message be after the form is submitted. So in this case, after this form is submitted, we can go here <coughs> and you can see that it's just a standard WordPress checkbox. So you can fill this out with whatever information you like. Um, if you go here to notifications, then we can see this is where we talk, we configure the emails that will be sent after the form is submitted. So a lot of times I'll have like an admin notification and I'll have another email that gets sent to the client. So 
in this place. Okay, it's gonna go. Um, we want this to go to hello at circle crazy web um, Our from email that we use is um, connect. And I always recommend using um, an FMTP connection for these and from emails. Um, so we'll throw this out as well. And that is all. We just need a send from and a send to. Now, if you want to get a little more fancy, you can um, put the reply to in here, which I like to do. This little ellipsis over here gives us the option. So these are the actual form fields. So when I get this as an admin, I want to be able to click reply and have that email sent to the customer who filled out the email. So that's why I want it to reply to the email that was on the form. You can also get fancy here with the subject and say, um, you know, whatever you want. Like, <clears throat> we might want to put the person's name here. Um, so their first name and their last name and say, visited your contact form. This can be really nice for clients who have a bunch of forms and want to use filters so that all the registration forms go to one email or all of the um, emails for, you know, a special event go to another one and all the contact emails go to another folder. So now that we've done that, we will update. So now we've built our form, what we need to do next is put it on the actual web page. So to do that, we're going to go back up here to home and visit the site. And I'm going to just pop down here and go to my example page. And doesn't this little guy look happy? Um, so we're going to put our form right here in this box. So there are at least three ways of doing this. So on this website, I'm using Elementor and ultimate add-ons for Elementor. So if we come up here, and this is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to just go ahead and close that box and come over here. And in this search box, we're going to search for Gravity Forms. So we can see that Ultimate Add-on for Elementor has a widget. So we drag the widget over and then come over here and just fill out some of our options. So right here, we're going to say the form we want is the Ask Me Anything form. You can see that it populates right here on the box. Um, we can decide to use the title and description from Gravity Forms or to leave it off. So I'm just going to say, no, I don't need that. And so we're just going to start right away with the form. Um, that's the first way to add it. So let's delete this and I'll show you another way. If you grab your text editor and pop over with that, you'll notice over here that you can um, type in, if you would like, the um, short code. And the short code to add a gravity form is a bracket and then gravity form space ID equals, oh, and we need the gravity form ID, which I forgot to get. So I'm going to update this and just leave it kind of hanging there. Um, I'm going to go back and show you how to find your form ID. So when this loads, we'll run back there for a second. I think it'll be the page. Go to our forms. And this is the form we want. So we'll just click on that guy. And go to settings. Form settings. And you're not seeing it there either, right? So where would that be? Well, it's tricky, I know. So where we're going to go here is go to the forms and it'll list all of the forms. And see in this column right here, we have the form ID. So 
here's the form ID. So we're doing the absolute energy and gravity form, and the ID is right there. Um, I'm going to pop that over here so you can see it. <clears throat> so the absolute energy and edit with Elementor. You get lots of practice at navigating the dashboard. So we'll go back here. I'm going to click on our pencil again. And I will drag the ID form equals seven. Now, the trick here is that number has to be in quotes. You can always close it with a bracket. Oops, but we want to keep it with a bracket. Okay. So now we're going to update that. And you can see how it populated. And we're going to do the page and just help us a little bit. So um, that is, oh, I promised you three ways. So the other way that you can add the form to your website, we'll go back, is to use the short code in the short code control. So that's one more option. So we'll delete our text, but I'm going to copy this so I don't have to read. Because this, this is just the short code. So I'm just going to copy that so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. So then we go up here again. We're going to search for the short code widget, which is right here. Standard Elementor stuff. Um, pop the short code for the form and just click it here. Click Y. And we can see our form again. So anytime you create a new form, you always want to test them. You don't just put the form on your page and hope, oh, it works. Um, so we're going to come up here to visit our page. We see the form. And we're just going to fill everything out. Do test. And, oh, we got to agree to that privacy policy, and we will submit the form. So this little message you get right here was the confirmation. So that's one thing to keep straight with these forms is the notification is the email that gets sent. The confirmation is the text displayed on the screen after the form is submitted. That's all I have for today. If you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them in the chat. And if you um, would subscribe, I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. Have a great day.